Hey guys, long time no see. I think it's been like two months since we've been live. Maybe not that long. Um, but as always, I am Danielle, the salty cooker, and today we are making easy chicken curry. Cameraman, as always, is my husband, Joe. Hey, hey, back in action. <laughs> Neck bolts tightened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last time was right before his surgery. When, so when was that? Yes, about two months. Yeah, so it's crazy. It's been that long. Um, and yeah, things have been crazy with the cookbook and stuff like that. So I'm a little bit, um, I don't know what you call it. I don't want to say like flaky feeling right now, but I feel like, you know, got 10 desserts. We're getting ready to make dinner. So if you guys have any questions, if you want me to slow down or anything like that, always just let Joe know. Um, but yeah, a lot of exciting things going on here. And I'm just going to start to prep while we wait for some people to join us here. Yes, text Brad, how are you? Thanks for joining. Evan C, hello. Thanks What's for joining. What's up, buddy? It's been so long since we've been on and seen you all. It has been. I feel like there's so much to catch up on, but then at the same time, it's like, all right, well, what have you been doing? Working. <laughs> <laughs> Working, and, cooking, eating. Yeah. Oh my God. So many desserts today. So as you guys know, if you're watching stories, um, I'm in the middle of shooting for the cookbook, which is going to be all baking recipes. It's going to be mostly sweets, but a little bit of savories. Um, the savory section is going to be more like breads, like, uh, you know, different types of breads, pizza crust, things like that. And a couple of fun ones too. And then the rest of the cookbook is going to be all types of baking from pies, tarts, pastries. Um, I guess those are all the same thing, kind of. <laughs> cakes, cupcakes, cookies, um, cheesecakes, of course, cheesecakes. So today has just been a marathon of cooking. Um, Joe just delivered some goodies to our new neighbors. Um, yeah, breaking in the in. new neighbors. Yeah, we got to get their stomach ready. There's going to be a lot of desserts. <laughs> I feel like each day, each day there's been like 10 desserts. So pretty soon our neighbors are going to be cutting us off. <laughs> I asked John actually, which is another one of our neighbors. Hey, John, do you need any desserts? He goes, no, we're full. We need a break. <laughs> so I got to sharpen that. <laughs> the gospel girl says, love the cutting board. Thank you. It is Stella Falone. On the other side, it's a dark wood color. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And they have a bunch of different sizes available too. And so, yeah, um, let's see what's been going on. The cookbook, the cookbook, the cookbook. <laughs> Kevin C um, asked, what did we do for the holiday for fourth? That's a good one. We went to the beach. Our friend invited us over. Um, it's actually our old neighbor. Um, who we became very good friends with. She invited us out to Topsail Beach, which is the beach that's really close to us. And it was beautiful weather. It was really nice to go out there and just chill out. Joe had to bring his fishing pole, of course. He was wanting fish tacos. Yeah, hoping to catch one of those Spanish mackerel, but no dice uh, that day. It was pretty slow out there, falling tide. All the wrong things, no birds, you know, but it was beautiful to sit out there and actually get in the water. Probably the first time I've been in the ocean for I don't know how long, so it's way too crazy. long. Yeah, in Florida, we were out on, you know, out on the boat pretty much every single day, fishing every single, well, I would fish in the morning. Joe would drop me off. I'd hurry up and, you know, grill up whatever fish that we caught, and then he would head back out with his friends later on. Um, so yeah, I got a little bit of sun finally. <laughs> You're getting some color, no longer yeah. translucent. <laughs> well, this is just the front side. The back side didn't get out of the chair, so <laughs> the back side is still pretty pale. <laughs> At least you got that tattoo to pretty well cover it up, you know? Yeah. Now I just got to get the bottom side all tattooed and be <laughs> good to go. <laughs> the house shoe hostess is joined. What's up, Gia? It's been so long. She's been asking, when are we going to be going live? And we decided just on the fly today because um, starting let's see, starting tomorrow between appointments and um, just, you know, life, work, everything like that, we're not going to be able to go live probably for about two weeks. We may go live during the actual first cookbook shoot, which is um, 
the photographer Amanda flies in from Michigan on the 24th, so then we shoot the 25th, 26th, 27th, and then she flies out the 28th. And then our second half of our shoot is going to be mid-September, and that's going to be all breads. So you guys may see some stories of me like throwing massive hissies, like trying to make bread, which you guys know is my nemesis. So if I can make it, so can you. <laughs> and that's going to be the whole goal, is to make it as easy as possible so everybody can enjoy fresh baked bread. <laughs> Char Banish asked, uh, where did you get that beautiful cutting board again? Oh, this is Stella Falone. Um, so it's right on their website. And the other side may be dirty, but I'll go ahead and show it to you. So you can see it's a darker wood. It has a nice drip. Um, Just a little bit upside down. <laughs> yeah, it's upside down. And then this one, you can pick different patterns on the front. So you can go if you want to get a little bit of the lighter wood, a little bit more of the golden look. Um, they have a lot of different options on there and different sizes too. Clean up really nice. They do. Seals I just really haven't well. cleaned it up today because it's been all day cooking. Um, but yeah, when especially when you oil it, she is beautiful. She just yeah. glistens. Smoking what is with What's us up? today? How are you, buddy? You're half a buddy. I'm half a friend. Gas Gas Brothers, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining, guys. So many. You want to come on over here? We're going to go ahead and get dinner started. So this is actual dinner tonight. I just figured, let's just do this together. Um, uh, message the other day, or I did a poll on asking what kind of recipes would you guys like to see? And a lot of people said um, quick, easy uh, weeknight meals. And then some also asked for a little bit healthier. So this is kind of my version of both. Um, the part that would be a little bit healthier option is instead of doing rice like I paired it with, do like a quinoa or a farro would be a really good option. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to yeah. get that in. Jack Tian said, "My <clears throat> Joe, my dad always said fishing should be called waiting. Yeah, I, you know, in my case, usually it's called catching because that's just how good I am. <laughs> You're so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like fine. the confidence, though. <laughs> That's a good one. Smoking what? Said, I'm here hiding in the bathroom. I'm supposed to be at this job thing. Thank you. We appreciate the support and confidence and, you know. And, hey, there's a lot of different dessert in the other fridge, so I'd really appreciate it if you ate that up there, buddy, because I can't eat any more dessert. I actually haven't eaten all day besides dessert, which I know sounds like a weird thing to complain about, but I love my savory foods. All right, Got tons of people joining. Thank you for coming on and Thank you joining hanging out guys. with us. So what we are making is an easy chicken curry. This is one of my favorite weeknight meals to make because like I, it's great in the title. It's easy, it's super flavorful, and a lot of the ingredients are just what you have on hand. So I had some chicken thighs that just came in from D'Artagnan. So I'm using their boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I've chopped them up. I have those cooking in um, a little bit of olive oil. And then for your ingredients, again, it's really what you have on hand. Pretty much my go-to is always a full onion diced. Whatever kind of pepper you have, I use pretty much every kind of pepper in this from jalapeno to bell pepper um, to shishito. So, you know, if you like that flavor, go ahead and add that in. I like to add, uh, I was calling chickpeas, garbanzo beans. <laughs> I just do a can of those. Always drain and rinse. We want to get all that sodium and all that stuff off as much as possible. Obviously, it's going to be in it still. Um, and then my milk of choice is coconut milk. Um, coconut milk adds an amazing flavor. There's only one little caveat to coconut milk. We don't want to bring it to a boil. It can be to a low simmer or, yeah, I think I said that right, low simmer, but we don't want to bring it to a full boil. Um, I like to add, I'm a huge fan of date syrup. Date syrup adds a great depth of flavor, especially when it comes to curry dishes and 
anything like really with sauces, you can add a little bit of that and it goes a long way. Adds a little bit of sweetness, but also just, I don't know how to describe it, but it just adds a nice depth of flavor. Curry flavors. This is going to be to each their own. I always just put down, you know, curry in any of the recipes that you guys see. It's going to say powdered curry, yellow curry, whatever. Um, so you could use just a straight curry powder or you could use a curry mix. That's a great part about this being so easy. This is hands down my favorite one. I'm absolutely obsessed and it's not full curry. Um, so you're going to see that I'm going to add in a little bit of just your traditional curry powder as well. But I love that one for, I've actually even used it in um, baked good recipes. It just has, yeah, honey, ginger. I mean, it has so many good things. It's so good. Lots of different flavors going on in there, but it's a warming spice. If you like spicy, by all means, go for that spicy curry paste. That would always be a really good option. I'm a mild girl, so I just, you know, I do this part, and if I want a little bit of heat, I'll add some, like, chili oil or something like that. All right, I got my spiel out of the way. Oh, and we're going to add, I made some roasted sweet um, potatoes, so we're going to add those in as well at the very end. They're already cooked. We already got that roasted flavor on there, so we don't need to do anything else with that besides toss it in the end. But you can really add different vegetables, obviously whatever protein you like you could do. If um, you're not a meat eater, you could always do tofu, and you're going to saute it just not quite like this, you do it in a flat pan, and then pull it out, keep it up, and then put it in at the end. But you could do this with pork, um, chicken breast. I just love chicken thighs because it has that fat. It has a little bit of a, to me, a deeper flavor, better flavor. So, <laughs> so any questions? We have one more question on the, on the board. So I'm just going to show you the name so you can see how it's spelled. It's Stella, S-T-E-L-L-A. Falone, F-A-L-O-N-E. Hopefully you got that one. Yeah, it's a great board. I'm very obsessed with it. All right, guys, so what's going on? What did everyone do for the fourth? We did a poll and I saw a lot of people barbecuing, chilling out with the pups at home, which I totally get that one. I was actually shocked that Hank and Stitch, they weren't acting all crazy. They didn't even make a noise. Yeah, the fireworks have been going off for a week straight. And Joe and I have just been a little bit tired with work and everything. So we're laying in bed at like 8 p.m. Um, just watching TV and stuff. Don't make excuses. We're yeah. laying in bed at 8 p.m. every night watching TV. So. <laughs> but we've been really tired laying in bed at 8 Yeah. <laughs> um, Struggling to keep our eyes open at 8 p.m. lately. But yeah. That's all right. But... The dogs haven't been making a noise or nothing. I've been blown away. Smoking what said, ketchup is about as much spice as I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, you got to warm me up here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so um, no other comments at the moment. We'll just wait. And... All right. So Joe, your surgery. Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody What's going on? I've gotten a lot of messages asking. Well, I have asked. I got a lot of messages being asked for proof of life to make uh -huh. sure that you were still here. So I sent you, you know, everybody the story on that. But now, what happened? Yeah. So I had a cervical disc replacement between my C5 and C6 vertebrae in my neck, and so they went in through the front of my neck cut that open and pulled everything aside and pulled out the disc and then slid a fake one in. And I think they screwed it in place. And I'm, I don't know, maybe um, a little more than a month past surgery and feeling good, have full range of motion in my neck and still have some of the pain in my hands that I was having burning and such from nerve pain. I did do a little damage to the spinal cord, so it's going to take some time for that to heal, but Overall feeling good, just started working out again and getting back in the gym and trying to uh, lose these 20 pounds that I'm 
gained from eating Danielle's food and not working out for two months? Yeah, we're getting ready to go to Italy. And he just bought all brand new pants. And Joe's a person that, you know, I feel like most women, we have our three sizes. When we're feeling really good about ourselves, we're like five, 10 pounds under our, you know, normal weight. Got we your skinny pants. Weight. Yeah, then we have our normal weight and then we have our larger size pants. So Joe, when he loses weight, which this isn't the first time, when he loses weight, he gets rid of all of his clothes. He's like, I'm never going to be that size again. I'm going to be, you know, whatever number. I commit. I go That's all it. in. Yeah, gets rid of all of his clothes. So we just went back to Michigan for our nephew's graduation, and none of his pants fit him. <laughs> and luckily, she made me keep my shorts this last time when I was like, ah, I'm just throwing them away. She's like, no, put them in the other, you know, bedroom, save them just in case. And uh, yeah, had to get my fat pants back out. It was, uh, it was just, the other ones just won't even button, not even close. So so now it's, you have to lose some weight before Italy, so then you can gain weight on it in Italy. Yeah, I got to yeah. get down below my skinny pants size so I can grow into my skinny pants while there. Because yeah. last time I gained 10 pounds in a week in Italy because I ate three pizzas a day on top of our normal meals. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I went hard. Yeah. It's been a long time since we've been there. Well, we went to Venice last time, but uh, we're going back to Florence and Cinque Terre. And we haven't been there in like 10, 15 years. So excited. So, so excited. Um, so, yeah, all of our clothes planning is like, should we pack our normal size or like size or two above? I'm just I, bringing my Vuori sweatpants. Just wearing yeah. those everywhere. Yeah, that's all I'm wearing today. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I didn't do my hair for you guys. Nothing. I just... We went right from work, and I was like, all right, it's time to eat dinner. So we'll start shooting. But yeah, it Take should be a look. lot of fun. So I added in um, the onion and the pepper. Just tossing it. We're going to wait till those onions are translucent. So we don't want to have any crunchy onions in this. We just want to really get that flavor in there. Is your flame height you're on about, what, like a medium, medium low? Yeah, medium low. Oh, and this is my new Heston nonstick pans. So I've been using this thing like nonstop. It works amazing. Um, super great with the nonstick. I've noticed the, the nonstick on these pans is like really like thick, like heavy. Yeah, these pans are heavy. They're not like your normal nonstick pans. These are definitely heavy duty, which is good because I beat the hell out of my cookware. <laughs> Smoking what ass? Is that a serving for one? <laughs> I mean, it could Joe. be. Yeah. yeah. The way I've been eating lately. Yeah, I could eat that. Yeah. Well, you know, his name is Joe, too. Smoke a what? Yeah. So whenever I say Joe, he says the other Joe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so some really good sides. I have rice ready to go. I need to fluff it up some because I had it ready. The house shoe hostess says, that's real life, work straight through till dinner, that's why we love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she had brought up earlier, she sends me a message, she's like, did I read that right? You're going to do, or you have 10 recipes down, and you need to get 70 done within the next two weeks? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I feel pretty good. I had, um, I had two brand shoots, and I was able to get those done this morning. Um, and then I had three recipes turn out. The oatmeal cookies still need to be tweaked. Send me your tip there, Gia, because I am struggling to get these oatmeal cookies with the right texture. Um, I'm adding apple into them to give it a little bit of a twist. So I've tried it a few different ways, but any tips would be great. Smoking what ass, when's the cookbook come out? I think we're looking at, uh, what, March 2024 about? Just approximate, I maybe? Guessing? so. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, you guys know I'm dyslexic and I'm ADHD, so reading is not the easiest thing for me. So I'm just like, here, I'll sign it. And I'm sure <laughs> these things also, like, you know, it's not an exact date, so. Yeah, I mean, a few people I know that their cookbooks, they got pushed back. Um, we are shooting early because right now during the summertime is, you know, my slow season for work, for creating recipes and stuff like that. 
and where the fourth quarter were really busy. So our first shoot was supposed to be end of August, first of September, but I'm like, man, I'm slow right now. Why don't we shoot early? And I'll just start, you know, banging out these recipes. So we moved up the shoot by, you know, a month and a half, and then we're gonna do our second shoot in September. So I don't know if that will push up production at all, maybe early next year, or if it would still stay the same. I don't really know how any of that works. It'll Maria, be a surprise. Maria says, hey, from South Jersey. Thanks Hi, for joining how you doing? us. Thank you for joining us. Got a bunch of new people in here. Hashu Hostess says, GF oatmeal, uh, zip it in the food processor. The oats, or mix it in the food process, like the whole mixture in the food processor. Good question. Yeah, send me. I can email. make up an answer if you want. Don't you? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I'll think it's what she said, and then mm -hmm. tomorrow I'll be like, "Oh, this isn't right." Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll laugh and laugh. <laughs> All right, let me grab a fork here. So. Yeah, actually, while this is cooking down, I'll show you guys some of the recipes. Which I already gave most of them away, luckily, because, again, I've been eating dessert all day. Yeah, because so. Joe's trying to lose weight, but I came home to this and had to crush one so, of those donuts. This is for the cookbook. This is a citrus olive oil cake, but look at that bounce. It is so, I don't quite want to call it fluffy, but it's kind of fluffy. Um, it's kind of fluffy. It's got incredible citrus flavor. I'll do yeah, a yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah. But look at this thing: <laughs> chocolate coconut donut. I had to save one for myself. I couldn't possibly give them all away. Yeah, I shot that for Amaretti. Um, I'm upset. I mean, you guys know I. I'm absolutely obsessed with Amaretti and their flavorings and stuff. And actually, they sent me a goodie package for the cookbook which I will shoot tomorrow and show everyone, but so many goodies. We have mm. some chocolate hazelnuts, some different flavorings. Very, very lucky, very fortunate. Elda J. Bullet said hello. Thanks Hi, for joining us. Doing? So we're gonna to start to add in our seasonings here. You saw that I just added minced garlic. Now you can always mince, um, you know, fresh garlic. I'm, when, I'm gonna bind, so these are just some of my things, again, for quick, easy weeknight meals. This dinner is ready well within 30 minutes. So I'd say 20 minutes on average, 20 to 30 minutes. So I use a lot of pre-made stuff when we're talking easy. Um, so minced garlic is one of my favorite go-tos. Um, for curry mixes, again, One Love by Spiceology is my favorite go-to. It has just some really nice warming spices, slight, sweetness with that honey we're going to do a full tablespoon and a half of that maria asked what are you making maria we're making chicken curry we are making an easy chicken curry for dinner and i'm going to just do a nice sized teaspoon of just regular yellow curry and you guys again use your favorite curry i'm not a heat i like warmth and a little bit of spice, but I'm not like, you know, mouth burning, sweating, all that. I like to keep it enjoyable where I can taste it, <laughs> which I guess everyone's enjoyment level is different. But so we're using those. We're just going to mix that in. And now we're going to go ahead and just add the rest of our ingredients. Again, this dinner is ready within 30 minutes. Um, Donna <laughs> said, hey, from Winnipeg, Canada. Thank Hi, you for joining you us. We're gonna do one tablespoon of Devash date syrup. This is gonna give it a really nice depth of flavor. Peanut butter, creamy peanut butter is a great option too for curries. And now coconut milk. So I just happen to have, um, I use a lot of coconut cream, you know, like the, I think they're like 13 and a half ounce cans of coconut cream where you have a really thick layer of the cream part on top and then the coconut milk below it. So I just happened to make um, pastry cream the other day. So I used all the hardened coconut milk on top and this is the cream part. It's a lot of explanation. <laughs> um, you can use regular coconut milk. Um, 
out of the can, that works great. So I'm going to use right around two cups. And the nice part with this is if you find that once your, your sauce starts to thicken and break down a little bit, you need to add some more, you can always add a little bit more later on. So Gia answered your question on the oats. She says, just the oats. I use about two tablespoons, then mix that into the cookie mix perfection every time. You'll have to talk to her. Unless, I like it. Unless you understand. Because these are spreading out, mm -hmm. so that would make sense because that would help bind it and thicken it. See, Gia? That's why I love you. You just make everything better. <laughs> Charbanish said, this is my first time watching. Love you guys. Where Hi. are you located? I'm in South Carolina. We're in North Carolina. We're right in um, Hampstead, right outside of Wilmington, North Carolina. So we are making an easy chicken curry, some different options for um, vegetables to go in. And again, you could use a little bit of peanut butter if you like that peanut butter flavor in there. Um, like right around a tablespoon of peanut butter would be really good but it's really whatever you have in your fridge. I've used like dino kale. Um, dino kale is my favorite. I wouldn't necessarily use a regular kale, just putting it in. You could cook it down first and put it in, but you could use peas, carrots. Um, I, you could do corn, that'd be a little bit sweeter, but you know, you guys get the gist of it. You could add zucchini, things like that in there. I like to add garbanzo beans or like a chickpea, something like that in there just to give it a little bit more of that hearty flavor. Um, I'm a big protein person, so anywhere that you can add it in, that's what I'm gonna do. You are lucky, said you both need peanut butter tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. I think, I'd wear that with pride. <laughs> I think peanut butter and banana. Um, I get a lot of the, I didn't realize how much I use banana until really, um, a uh, fellow IG person, they're like, you really put banana in like everything. I'm like, I know it's so freaking good. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> it makes everything just taste better. <laughs> so when you're using coconut milk, it's okay to get these, um, like where it's simmering here around the edge, but we don't want that center to come to a boil. With coconut milk, it can split. The flavor is still there. It still tastes good. But if you want more of that creamy sauce that you traditionally have in a curry, in a curry sauce. You want to make sure that you keep it over a medium low heat. If it starts to boil, turn down the heat just a little bit more. And now we're at the point where, I mean, I'm going to add in the potatoes here shortly. Now we're at the point where dinner's ready. So again, 20, 30 minutes, um, but the longer it cooks, the longer it sits, even like for leftovers, this is a great meal prep idea because the longer it sits and those flavors marry together, it's going to be so delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and add these in. Let's use this. I'm going to scrape them first so I don't fling them off again. And Maria is asking, where can I get the recipe? Um, as soon as we're done filming, I'm going to go ahead and post this video and the full recipe will be right on there. And um, the website is getting really revamped. We're getting a lot of new information on there, a lot uh, like better search it. My brain is- Better search function. Thank you. <laughs> My brain is toast. Uh, so the search bar, when you go to the website yeah. and search for something, it actually works now and shows you a lot of cool stuff versus like you type in the exact name and it doesn't come up. So. Yeah. So you know, when you, stuff like that. <laughs> it's way more user friendly um, that we have somebody new that's working on the website and she's doing a full revamp of the whole site. So it's going to be a lot more user friendly and you guys can go on there and subscribe as well. We are doing week, I think we're up to weekly newsletters now. So we'll, you know, show you all the recipes that we came out with. So if you miss something on Instagram, Facebook, you know, we're on all the social media handles, then you'll see what's coming out in the newsletter too. And of course, everything is free. Um, you can subscribe for free, you get the newsletters, and then with any type of updates that 
we're doing, you know, like the cookbook, stuff like that, you guys will get all that information too. Maria also asked, how often do you guys go live? Well, we normally go once a week on Thursdays, but with my surgery and just everything going on, we haven't been on for the last two months. So this is our first live in a couple months. Uh, and with the cookbook shoot and the schedules coming up, we'll probably be hit and miss on those. But if you watch Danielle's stories, she announces in the story anytime we're gonna go live. And of course the lives are always posted into the feed. So you can always go back and watch a replay if you missed it. Yeah, I'm hoping that we can go live next week, but it's just really gonna depend on how this next week goes with recipe testing for the book. Um, if it goes pretty smoothly where you know everything's on track, then we'll definitely be going live next week. Otherwise, it's probably going to be during the um, cookbook shoot, and it's just gonna be like a fun, this is what's going on. This is all the stuff that we're making. If you're local, come take it. <laughs> like I just went to Home Goods and I bought, I think 10 new cake stands. I have at least 10 to 15 um, plates and all this stuff because we are doing, I counted it, we're doing 38 recipes minimum this first shoot. So it's just gonna be like wall to wall desserts. So anybody that's local that wants desserts, you know, you guys have Joe's number, hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a party. Seth said the aroma must be amazing. Curries are always so fragrant. They are. Absolutely. It smells so good. It's just such a nice warming flavor. And if you guys want to see, so this is, to me, this is my healthy version of chicken curry. Now, if you wanted to get this sauce even thicker, which you can already see, like, I have it loaded with goodies because I'm all about the goodies. You can see it's already pretty thick. You could add in some heavy cream. So whether you're dairy free or full dairy, add in a couple tablespoons up to a quarter cup of heavy cream. At the very end, mix it in and it's gonna make it a lot more rich, more like, like a butter sauce. It's gonna be really thick and rich like that. Um, but again, I got a mess, bunch of messages asking for a little bit healthier options. So. This is my favorite one. But Danielle, how could it be dairy free if you added heavy cream? <laughs> dairy free, heavy cream. So all of the recipes on the web website, on well, the website, Instagram, anything like that, you guys know all my recipes are gluten free. They're all dairy free. You're welcome to use full dairy, full gluten products, and it's going to taste exactly the same. And I only say that jokingly because we get a ton of people commenting saying, how could that be dairy free if you used cream cheese? Or how could that be dairy free if you used heavy cream? Or how could that be whatever, whatever? So just know that there's so many brands now that are making gluten free and dairy free versions of all of these things that, you know, you can really um, find just about anything dairy free out there now. And it's pretty awesome. I mean, the taste yeah. is amazing. There's new brands coming out every day, I swear. Every time I go to the grocery store, there's something new out that, you know, I've got to try. And even like Breyers, Breyers came out with a dairy-free vanilla ice cream. Like, mind so blown. Mind blown. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of options out there, so you can always keep that in mind too. All right, gonna we'll start playing because I am getting hangry. Tina needs to eat. Yeah, pre-live, she was finishing some uh, what were they, lamb? Lamb? Lamb chops. Lamb chops. Yeah, we got some beautiful lamb chops from Meat and Bone, and they were um, double lamb chops. So then you can cook them, and then they're always perfect on the inside. So a nice uh, medium, medium rare on there. And the glaze, you guys, I impressed myself. It's like, you know, I don't do a ton of glazes. I really want to get into more sauces and stuff like that. So I just started throwing some crap together, and the glaze, I had to hurry up and write it down to make sure I didn't miss any of the ingredients. Cause yeah, I'll, you know, keep cooking. And then an hour later it's like, oh shit, what I put in that? I forgot. Yeah. And there was five of them. And so when we got down to the fourth one and we had both eaten two, I was like, do you want that fifth one? Like hoping, crossing my fingers, she would say no. Luckily she said no. And I, I got will to be eat making it. that again soon. That it was, was so good. Really good. I mean, I think we finished them in like, Two and a half minutes. Yeah, I was <laughs> extremely, not gonna lie, I was a little bit impressed with myself on that one. And this smells so good. Definitely gonna yeah. be eating some of this too. Heck yeah. Only had like. Guys, turn your smell of vision on. This is amazing. 
Yeah, when are they going to come out with like scratch and sniff? <laughs> yeah, who needs the like metaverse and all that? We just need like smell o vision. Yeah. And so again, I'm using just a jasmine rice. Use whatever your favorite side is. If you want to go a little bit healthier, you could do farro, quinoa, um, lentils go really well with curry. Um, that would be a delicious option. And you could always put that in there. You could cook the lentils and then put that in at the end too. Paulette says, hey, good looking what you got cooking. We are making easy chicken curry for dinner tonight. So hungry, so, so hungry and excited. <laughs> The Sicilian Chick Cook says, looks really good. Thank you. Yeah, it's one of our favorite dishes. Um, it's like pretty much anything like rice bowls and stuff. It just makes life so much easier. Um, and even to make this, if you guys really wanted to get in and dive deep into easy weeknight meals, you could have all of your like grains and stuff like that prepped. You could even prep your veggies ahead of time. So you could chop up, you know, whatever you're thinking you're going to use for the week. Some peppers, onions. Um, I'm a huge sweet potato fan. So you guys will see like I lunch every day is pretty much egg whites and like a sweet potato or baby spinach or something. Um, but yeah, you could dice that up ahead of time. So and don't worry. I know what you guys are thinking. I don't know how she eats egg whites and baby spinach every day either. Nobody can live off that. <laughs> It's just for lunch. It's all about balance. <laughs> I get so many people, how can you eat all those desserts? It's all about balance. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we have our easy chicken curry. And you can see that we added the sweet potato in there. That just gives it a nice little bit of sweetness. And I'm all about hearty. You know, Joe's, <laughs> I swear, it's because of when we were young and first dating, he's like, how can I eat a salad and be full up of that? So I'm like, well, you know, I can cook healthier meals and then just add in hearty ingredients. So you're still eating healthier, but you're getting full. So that's all about the potatoes, um, the beans in it, you know, adding things like that is going to fill you up and they're good ingredients. Ooh, mm. potatoes would be a good one to add in too. The Sicilian chick said, uh, that must be amazing in pie crust, like a chicken pot pie. Do a chicken curry pot pie. Oh, that is genius. Snap. <laughs> I actually, I, pie crust is on the menu tomorrow because I'm, I have to shoot a couple pies. I am so doing that. Love me some chicken pot pie. I need to, hold on, I gotta get, grab a pen. Oh man, you, you did it. You yeah. did it, Sicilian chick. You got her. <laughs> she has to write yeah. this one down. <laughs> I'll forget between now and then. Huh. That is genius. I mean, this looks pretty awesome as it is, but Curry. you throw that in a pot pie and you got my full attention. Absolutely. Oh, that is a great idea. I'm making that tomorrow. That's, <laughs> that's where the rest of that's going to go. I may even make a new batch, actually. <laughs> I love that idea. Thank you so much. She said, just to add a little water and cornstarch, I assume to thicken it up and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or I could grind up that sweet potato too and put that in. Mm. I'm so excited. I'm so excited on that one. She's not gonna be able to sleep now. No, I, yeah, I can't rest until I make things. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and add lime juice on top. That's just going to brighten the flavors, just bring everything together. And it may look like a lot. It's really not. Um, I'm going to taste it and then probably add the other half. So here is our controversial herb, cilantro. People either love it or hate it. And I never knew this, that Joe thought it tastes like dirt too. I put it on everything. I didn't like it for the longest time. And then, you know, right around when taste buds were changing, it was like, oh, this just adds a great freshness. And I found it in a, uh, what were you eating? Like a salsa? And it just, it was so mm, bright. Yeah, we were getting that salsa a lot and it was very earthy. Yeah, it added a great flavor. And Joe <laughs> said this like just a couple months ago. And I've been doing this and cooking for years now. 
he's like, Bob brought up how some people said it tastes like soap or dirt. He's like, is that why it tastes like, what'd you say, like gritty or something like that? I don't know. So I was cracking up. I was like, all these years, he's just eating what I make. He doesn't even tell me that he doesn't like cilantro or whatever I put on there. No, I eat dirt as a kid. I'm not saying, I never said I didn't <laughs> like it. I'm just, you know, it's got a very earthy ground flavor <laughs> and you banged your head on the floor a lot too as a kid throwing yeah. temper tantrums so i'm thinking it was probably the balance of those two things yeah <laughs> well i'll take it because i'm still adding it on and i'm still eating it yeah and you can see i like a lot of it personally i think it adds a lot of freshness if you're not a fan of it obviously completely omit it but that is it guys. So again, super simple. I will put the recipe up on the site. I'm going to put up, you know, exactly what we just made here tonight. But if there's any vegetables, you have any questions on anything, you can always send me a DM. Um, I get, try to get back to everybody within 24 hours. Um, but yeah, vegetables and stuff like that, you can just change out to whatever you have in your fridge or freezer. Freezer vegetables are amazing for quick, easy weeknight meals too. You are lucky, says the colors are amazing in that dish. Thank you. How she hostess says she adores us. Thank She's you, mostly Gia. talking about me, but. Yeah, she was also pretty excited. So Gia, who is the how she hostess on Instagram. So anybody that, you know, is not following Gia, go to her page immediately. She makes mouthwatering meals every single day. It's ridiculous. So we always send each other, you know, like little gifts here and there. And I forget why she sent it the first time. I wonder if you were like sick or something. I mean, obviously you were sick with something, but she sent me a little uh, negligee that was a nurse outfit. So Joe gets the surgery. He's like, Sue, are you gonna put that nurse outfit on or what? It's like, yeah, thanks a lot, Gia. <laughs> One of that and an air horn. Yeah. You did not get an air horn. <laughs> she wouldn't give me the air horn, guys. No, that would have been, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't be standing here right now. <laughs> All right, I don't see any other questions. We do still have people rolling in. So for those of you who missed it, Danielle will be posting this to her feed. So you can just go back and watch the replay there. Yeah, we made um, easy chicken curry. This is a healthier option chicken curry ready within 30 minutes. And um, if you watch the video again, you're going to see a lot of different options for making this as simple as possible for you guys for what you have in your freezer and your fridge. And dinner's ready within 30 minutes and it tastes like it's been cooking all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Gia said it was something that happened with my shoulder. It was probably when I got the injury initially. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't hold the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It happened then. That was a long time ago. Yeah. So, yeah. So, he wanted the nurse costume. So, yeah. it was a good trade-off. Danielle delivers, you know, because she's a good wife. So, yeah. I try. I'm spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right guys. guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We're really going to try to get on here on a more regular basis. Hopefully, we'll be on next week. Um, otherwise, we will see you during the cookbook shoot. It's going to be a little bit chaotic, but we want to make sure that you guys are invited in, see all the goodies that we're making. And as always, thank you for your support. We appreciate you guys. And that's it. All right. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.